Unicorn vomit colour palette. Mad shapes that look like they're from a sci-fi film. Materials that belong in spaceships. Packaging that belongs on a film set. I give you the Illuminating Watches Top 20 Crazy G-Shocks that embody the bolder side of Casio's catalogue. Extroverts, pick your next watch. Introverts, enjoy mocking these whilst your inner child secretly wishes you'd be able to get away with wearing one of them. To represent our watch wearer, considering strapping one of these and leaving the house, Doom Guy will be our overall intensity guide for the video. So let's start with I'm Too Young To Die. You might brave wearing one of these out of the house if you pretend you're doing it ironically somehow, but you totally aren't. Starting off gentle, we have a Zebra 5600 square model. Familiar shape, but we've dialed up the colour combo. At 19, we're starting to stand out with the K-shape here in asymmetric button placement with a dial that looks like the aim in a sniper rifle. At 18, we're showing our interest off for obscure models. The flipping numbers are cool and that big bump on the side, the Ant NI, hence Ant-Man, is for the radio receiver, so that sort of makes it acceptable, right? Next is the Stargate or Heavy Metal Gundam. It's a classic, so its weirdness of shape with the bumpers is somewhat established as acceptable if you don't think about it too hard. Moving up, Hey, not too rough. You may go out wearing it, but carefully concealed under your sleeve. Let's dial the colour mix up with the Jammin' Colour 5500, showing off Casio's mixed colour moulding methods. At 15, the Frogman Mr. G. It's an obscure one that combines MRG and Frogman and is made of titanium, so you're showing off quite a bit now. Similarly, the Red Man is not your everyday and is also an MRG, so you've really gone out of your way to get this one to show off. The DW9100BD4T is a very funky shape and a limited edition collaboration with the snowboarder Terje Hackinson. Let's move it up a notch to Hurt Me Plenty. Perhaps you'll only secretly wear one of these around the house. The Chinese Dragon series packaging is absolutely bonkers with the watch being in a large dragon egg in a big plastic dragon. You can perhaps just about get away with the watch itself, but that packaging earns its spot here. This Gravity Master looks pretty much like a fighter plane's cockpit itself with the carbon fiber bezel and quad sensor. In no way am I ever going to be cool enough to pull this one off. The Big Mac, possibly the trashiest watch you could own with a whole bunch of fast food on your wrist. I'd buy it as I've got no taste, but it's a 6900, so it doesn't make the top echelons of bravery. The G7800 Super Square, I actually own this one. The one in the photo is mine. The mockery has been substantial, but I stand by the fact that it's the best features of any non-Master of DG shock and is the coolest square. Perhaps the faux crocodile skin was a bridge too far. Polka dots could have even been safer. Now we shift gears to ultra violence. My introverted brethren may only risk looking at pictures of them and the extroverts may start doubting themselves. The Mudmaster Leopard is first. The normal massive Mudmaster wasn't enough. You had to go full leopard skin. Next, the MTG S1000, a Barza World limited edition with aged black and gold IP. You've really gone out of your way to get something that will stand out and deep down at the G-Shock rabbit hole. At seven, the MRG G2000. Not only did you get an MRG, you got a purple Gassan MRG made by a dude who makes samurai swords. At six, the MRG G1000 Hammer Tone. The effect is Suki, which is an old method where the pattern is beaten with a hammer by a master Japanese craftsman. And it's, of course, all in gold. Right, nightmare mode engaged. Only the absolute bravest of the brave will go out in public with one of these, and I salute you. At four, the Volcanic Lightning MTG. One of the coolest phenomenons I'd never thought about until I saw the G-Shock ad. Multicolored with bright red lava strap. My wife would kill me if I bought this, but I am tempted. At three, the Year of the Tiger model. Could these be the loudest possible models that you could pick? Well, no, I think that that would have to be the Borneo Rainbow Toad Frogman, which looks like a hallucination on your wrist. So what's at number one? Well, we've come full circle back to a seemingly basic square. Apart from the fact that this one costed over 75,000 US dollars and is the 18 karat solid gold square dream project madness, but kind of cool. And that's it for this episode on the Illuminating Watches channels. Like and subscribe if you like, and leave a comment on any crazy ones that I've missed on my list that you think should be there.